Well, in this video, I want to share with you one of my favorite brushes of all time. It is a 3 8 inch angled shader, and this one is a level 3 brush. You can see I still have the tag on there from Michaels where I purchased it. I usually just am kind of lazy and I don't take the tags off of my brushes, <laughs> but, but yeah, you can easily take the tag off if you want to. It doesn't get in my way, so I just leave them on there, but it's kind of cool because you can see exactly what type of brush it is by looking at that. But I, I've tried 3 8 inch uh, angled shaders from other places like this one's one from Hobby Lobby and this one is the level 2 ang 3 8 inch angled shader from Michaels um, but out of all of these three brushes this level 3 one this artist loft brand is the very best I think I think it's the best because of the amount of tension there are in the bristles um, there is it they're just a little bit stiffer and they and they are a little bit more uh, flat and together I guess <laughs> that you can do fine detail work better with this brush I guess is the way to say it rather than the level 2 brush that's at Michaels this level 2 brush is it frays out quicker and it's just uh, it's just it's just not quite as good I, I don't know I can't, it's not as versatile I can't do quite as many things with it and this one from Hobby Lobby it, it seems to last longer um, from fraying out but the bristles aren't as uh, dense and it doesn't have as much tension against you um, when you're pressing against the canvas as this one does so that means that when you're trying to do fine detail work you don't have quite as much control or at least I, I don't have as much control so so anyway so this brush although the Hobby Lab one lasts longer <laughs> the level 3 brush from Michaels is overall I think a better brush and it's great it's only six to ten dollars depending on if it's on sale or if you use a coupon so it's really affordable so don't let the level 3 you know thing make it seem like it's too expensive because as brushes go if you can get a brush for 10 bucks it's a score <laughs> because there's a lot of brushes out there that are professional artist brushes that cost you know fifty dollars <laughs> a lot more money so so ten dollars is a good deal for a an artist grade brush i use this angle shader brush for a lot of different things when i'm painting i use it to paint eyes like in the painting back there that you can see part of behind me and i paint noses as well with it and whiskers i do all my fine detail work with this one brush and you would think with the brush being so large, I mean, even though there is a, there's a tip, there's a point on it, but it is a pretty large brush. So you wouldn't think that I would do really fine detail work with it. But what I love to do is just to use the very tip of the brush when I'm using for fine details. And then when I'm doing lines, I make you know more strokes with the whole entire brush. And then when I'm doing shading or trying to erase things, I use more of the side of the brush. So that's why it's a very versatile brush. So yeah, I just love this brush. In fact, I buy several of these at a time from Michaels to make sure that I always have a fresh one in stock. This was to use when I'm doing the fine details because one thing that I have noticed is if it gets frayed out, you can't use it for detail work as well. And so I go through one of these brushes every three to six months and then my old brushes that get a little frayed out I still keep for doing like shading with or if I'm trying to use when I'm making like an abstract work or something where I don't need something super fine detail like when I'm painting eyes or noses in an animal well I guess that about sums up what I know about angled shader brushes if you have any questions or any thoughts on the topic or anything you'd like to know about painting uh, please post those in the comments I'd be happy to answer them if I can all right thanks so much for watching see you next time